So I'm back today to show you a really good example on physical weathering. Physical weathering is going to be the physical change, the physical appearance of a rock fragment. And what's gonna happen there is that the size and shape generally is going to change. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take these sugar cubes, we're gonna take this gravel, and we're gonna put it all into the shake bottle. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna compare the resistant nature of the gravel compared to the less resistant nature of the sugar cubes. And what's gonna happen is hopefully we can get some pretty good change into the size and shape of the sugar cubes. You'll notice how angled they are. They're very flat-sided, and I'm hoping just after a couple of seconds of shaking, we should be able to get some pretty good results here. So let me put my camera down, and let's see what we can get. So we're gonna take the gravel, put it in there. It's gonna take four sugar cubes. I'm gonna keep four there just because I wanna have comparison after we get done shaking. Put them in, everything's in there. Now we'll just get shaking. About 20 seconds is really all you need. Bring my plate back over. Let me dump it out. Let's see what we got. Oh, we got some pretty good results here. So I'm just gonna take the four of these and just put them right next to the four non-shaken cubes. Just kind of give you a little comparison. All right, so there's the four. Take a look. This is called abrasion. The rounding of rock, especially in water, you get the rounding. But take a look. These are significantly rounder than the non-shaken sugar cubes, and they are significantly smaller. So what I talk about are abrasion, let me show you just a real sample. This is a real sample of a rock that's gone through abrasion. Okay, the real nice rounding. There's no sharp edges to them. The sharp edges get knocked off. So you lose size, you lose shape, you lose some mass. The densities will still be the same, but clearly the appearance is much, much, much less than what it was prior to when we were shaking. And if you look at the, if you look at the gravel here, it's all coated. It's all coated in sugar, just simply because of all of that sugar was once part of these edges that now are knocked off. So again, that's just a really good example of physical weathering the physical breakup of rock. We physically shook them in the shake bottle. Great example of physical weathering. So hopefully this helps you out guys and we'll see you next time.